Hello, today's guest is Assistant Professor Doğu Çağdaş Atilla in Altınbaş University, the Head of the Department of Data Analytics and at School of Engineering and Natural Sciences. Welcome, Professor. Professor, uh, what would you like to say to prospective students about the curriculum and the objective of Data Analytics Master Program? This is a very newbie program. It is in last month, taken by the decision of Turkish uh, Higher Education Council. So maybe two and three weeks has been um, passed. And after that, we started to uh, build up the uh, curriculum of this new program. And because of that, it has a dynamism. So um, we are uh, ready uh, and waiting for the prospective students, for the candidates. And uh, I want to tell about the uh, definition of data. I want to describe something about the, uh, the data analytics. We can describe the data and we can compare the data and the information. Information is the uh, process data and we can collect data from uh, any happenings around the world, around the, uh, around the life. And since the beginning of the life, we can connect the data and we don't know how to process it because processes, processing techniques can change day by day. So um, the important thing is how to, uh, to know how to process the data. So because of that, we offer to the students how to process the collected data. Thank you. Can you tell us a bit about the structure of the Data Analytics Master Program? Okay, uh, as you know, uh, we base on the um, requirements and regulations of Turkish Higher Education Council. Uh, we have uh, graduate instructions, as you know, so we have to follow it. The, uh, we have four programs, in fact, two uh, English departments, to uh, Turkish department with thesis and non-thesis. So uh, to summarize the structure of this uh, program, with the thesis program, firstly, uh, we have around 120 credits to complete for graduation. And uh, in the uh, course stage, the students must take four courses, which is uh, including the uh, research methods course, this is a mandatory course, and the remaining six courses are selective courses. And after completing the thesis stage, the students also must complete the uh, seminar course, then they can jump through the thesis stage. After completing the thesis, they are ready for graduation. In the non-thesis side, the students, has, it's the students have to take 10 courses, including a research method course, but they don't have to take the seminary course. They are, this is not mandatory for the non thesis students. And uh, after that, they will go through the uh, project course. Then they can complete the, the uh, study. Thank you for your answer. And the next question, uh, what types of advantages will this master program bring it, its students? As you know, the Altınbaş University is a very new university, but it is rapidly growing day by day. Um, we have some brand, uh, brand instructors and some brand projects, and uh, we are trying to improve our infrastructure with the sense of laboratories or different types of infrastructures. And we offer them to uh, work with this brand instructors, brand projects in the social science. We have um, the instructors, they are international level instructors. In the health science, we have also um, some good infrastructure and esteemed academics. And also in the engineering side, we have uh, the instructors who completed and conducted the projects, international projects and international patents and also publications. So data analytics department is a combination of this free the disciplines like health science and uh, engineering science and also the, um, the social science. So this is the, the first advantage of the students. And we combined all these three departments, all these three disciplines, and we came up with this NIV uh, department. It is data and it is called as data analytics. So uh, they will have the advantage of working with this combination. Thank you. And the last one. What types of advantages does Altınbaş University offer its students with this master program? In this master program, uh, I, I want to come up with the uh, latest pandemic period, for example. In the first time of the, this pandemic period, we don't know what to do. For example, wearing on the masks, we don't know. 
Uh, but after processing the data, after gathering the data of the instance, and then after processing it, we, uh, we can describe the roadmap. This is the uh, production of data analytics. What else we can say? For example, the, um, the social media. We are uh, encountering with lots of data. It is called as big data. And the, um, to call that, to evaluate this data as big, we have to have three different variables. It is volume, it is a rate of change, and it is diversity. In the social media, we have the big volume and the rate of change, uh, and also the uh, diversity of the um, information. So to process these data, we have to have the knowledge of data analytics. And uh, since we have uh, different disciplines like, like health science, social science and engineering science, normally the data science is based on uh, engineering, but it can work, it can deal with other two departments like social science and health sciences. So the advantage of the students in this department is having a combination, a merge of these three disciplines. Thank you for your answers, Professor. Thanks.